in this video, I am taking you behind the scenes of the release of my new song, which is this one right here in GarageBand. Yes, this is my brand new song called Imagination. And I'll grab the right mouse and pause it there for a moment there. Hi, if this is your first time here, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And as you just saw, I have recently recorded, released a song here in GarageBand called Imagination. This is my brand new song and I'm gonna tell you a little little bit about it in this video because about a week ago I did another video which you can find linked down in the description where I actually released this song. So I released it through DistroKid which is a distribution platform where you can actually upload your song and then release it to Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon, a whole bunch of places. So that's exactly what I did and now what I want to do is show you a little bit behind the scenes of how I put the song together and then where it is now. So how we can actually go and link to this song because I've actually released it, as I said, and we can actually, uh, there's a great service actually called songwhip.com, which I'm going to jump in and show you as we go through this video. But let's jump over here and have a quick look here. So this is the project that I put together here. Now I use GarageBand for a lot of my a lot of my audio recording. So this song was recorded in GarageBand and you can see here we've got some bass tracks here, we've got drum tracks, we've got synth tracks. As we scroll down, we've got a bunch of different tracks in here. We've got some guitars and we've got not surprisingly, some vocals. So uh, this is what we've put together here. Let's just jump into this track and give you a little bit of a listen. If you haven't been around the channel before, this is what it sounds like here. We'll hit play and we'll turn the volume up. Here and if I'm going under all the complications of my life, all the times when I couldn't reach the knife, in my back to the days when I was a little kid, always worried about the things I never did, always think about the next big problem, even when it's someone else that's on the hook me in, line and sinker, ever wonder what. So this is, uh, this is what we put together here. And if you want to check all of these out, there'll be videos again linked down in the description where you can check out exactly how this was put together here in GarageBand. But what we're here today to do is to talk about the actual release of this song. So let's jump over and take a look at that. If we, if we come back over here and we remove that out of the way, uh, which you can't see because it's behind the scenes here, uh, it's not moving. <laughs> There we go. We're nearly getting there. We will bring back in here because what we have actually done is we've released this song using DistroKid. And again, there'll be a video which I'll link up the top there and down in the description where you can check this one out. If we come over here, here it is. Here's my single released on DistroKid. Now, if you're not familiar with DistroKid, DistroKid is an online distribution platform where you can release your song to all of these platforms. So I, I don't even know all of these logos, but you can see there, there's Instagram, there's Deezer, there's Apple, there's Amazon, there's Google, there's iTunes, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. So this song has already been released and it is ready for you to go. If you want to listen to this, you can go and do that. But if you want to release your own songs, then you can actually do that using DistroKid and for just under $20 per year, you can release an unlimited number of songs to all of these different platforms. It's a pretty good deal. And once again, if you check the description below, you can see how you do it. But the very cool service that I like here, <clears throat> excuse me, is a service called songwhip.com. So if we come over here, you can see here, this is songwhip. And I'm actually going to jump out of here. I'm going to go back to songwhip.com and show you how this works. So this is a service where if you've released a song, then you can actually jump in here to songwhip.com and you can make a link to your song. And it will actually show the links to all of the different streaming platforms and purchasing platforms where you can check out your song. So if we click the make a link now button, we can actually do this. We can type in my name, Pete Johns, and Imagination, which is the name of my song. And here you go. We've got one matching song here, Imagination, and the album Imagination. We can click on that one. It's going to create us our page. And look at this. We've got my own page here where we can go to Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Google Play, SoundCloud, Amazon, a whole bunch of different places. So let's just test this out. If we click on the YouTube option here, let's jump over to YouTube. There we go. 
So it's already playing my song there on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. And yes, I've even liked my own song. That's how I roll. <laughs> so if we go to something like, uh, say, Google Play Music, it's going to open up our Google Play Music interface and go straight into here. And again, we can see, there it is. If we hit play on this one, it should queue up and play my song. It's doing some spins. It's doing its thing. There it goes. There you go. It's done the same thing. And once again, if we scroll down to the bottom here, if we wanted to buy this song, say you wanted to purchase it on iTunes, we can click there and it should load up in iTunes here. We'll make sure that it works here. Yep, there we go. You can see that we can actually do this. It wants to open iTunes. We'll cancel that for now. But yeah, you can listen to it on Apple Music. You can buy the song on iTunes. You can do all of the things. You can see it was released on the 30th of January. Studio Live Today Records, it's all good to go there. So yeah, it's it's a very cool service, songwhip.com. Once again, that will be linked down below so that you can check that one out. So let's go back and sort of recap what we've done here. So the when you want to release a song like I've done here, it's so simple. All you need to do is use any software you have. So I used GarageBand, as we talked about before. I've used GarageBand here on my iPad and I released that song. So I recorded the song and then I released it. And I released it using DistroKid, which again is super simple. I'll bring that one back up here. I've got the video, which you can check out over there. We can release using DistroKid. Super simple. You upload your music. I'll show you quickly how to do this. We tap on the upload button here. You can go into your uploads and you can upload your song in about, about 10 minutes. It'll take you to upload a song. You can then jump over here. And once it's released, you can use a service like SongWhip to actually start promoting your song. So this is a great way. You can see there's a link there. Songwhip.com slash song slash Pete Johns slash imagination. And that can actually help you release your song and get your song out there. So it's it's actually been, it's we're in the future here, right? It's never been easier to be able to release your song to the world. So wherever you're producing your song, you can export your song, you can release it using DistroKid, you can share it using SongWhip, all of those links will be down below. So I hope that you got some value out of this video. If you are producing your own music and you're looking to release it using something like DistroKid and then share it, as I said here, using something like SongWhip, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.